Hey everybody, so for today's movie review, I'm going to talk about a very recent film, a film that came out this week when I posted this review. Uh, it's called Ted by Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane, if you don't know who he is, well, he created a character that I have on my shirt here today, Stewie Griffin, um, from Family Guy. So he was a part of, he was the creator of Family Guy and the creator of American Dad and the creator of The Cleveland Show, which is a spinoff of Family Guy with one of its characters. Um, but anyway, this is his first feature-length live-action film. Um, I'm a huge fan of Seth MacFarlane, and I was very excited to see this film. And uh, so let's talk about the storyline first. So with Ted, you guys, um, it's a story about a, a guy named John Bennett, who's played by Mark Wahlberg when he's an adult. Uh, but the film actually focuses on John Bennett as a kid when the film starts. And he gets a bear for Christmas one year, a teddy bear, and he becomes so close to this bear that he wishes one night when a shooting star passes by his house that the, that the bear becomes alive and becomes his best friend forever. Um, the shooting star grants his, his wish, and the following morning the bear is alive. And like a human, Ted grows the same age that um, John Bennett does. And so, since he's a teddy bear, they all call him Ted for short. Um, and then the story... Uh, then goes to the point where it's several years later, John Bennett's now 35, he's living in his own apartment room, uh, he's living at a rental car service business, and Ted is currently unemployed when we first see him in his adult years with John, and so it gets to the point where Ted is just doing drugs all day, he's smoking a bong, as suggested in the trailer if you've seen those. Um, he, he really isn't doing anything, and in a way, he's kind of interrupting John's life, because John is also, not only is he trying to move on to the next phase of his life, and he's busy with his job, and he's um, about to be promoted to a management position, as they suggest at the beginning of the film, too. Um, so it was about time that Ted had his own career, while John had, you know, a relationship with this woman that he had, and work, and trying to, you know, handle the apartment bills on his own. So it was time for Ted to move on. So he gets a job at a grocery store, and uh, one of the jokes of the film is, well, a consisting joke that keeps on popping up is he always does probably the worst possible thing you can do at a grocery store. Uh, I mean, he's always doing it with this girl that works a couple aisles down from him in the register part of the store. And so he keeps on getting promoted for it. So every time that happened, people laugh because he got promoted for the worst possible reason. Um, even during his interview, when you see in the film, he just completely bombs the interview and still gets the job. And he, uh, so, so that's, there's always a consistent humor with the film, which is something I really appreciated that Seth MacFarlane did with this. Um, it also had a very family guy feeling to it. Uh, but anyway, I'll get to the positives and negatives here in a second. So, Ted now has a job. John now's continuing his job, and, and, is, and is getting closer and closer to his girlfriend, Lori, played by Mila Kunis. And um, Mila Kunis is the voice of Maggie for those who uh, watch Family Guy. And uh, so, at, at this point in the story, uh, Lori really wants Ted out of John's life. She thinks that if Ted's out of his life, he will uh, be able to continue the life that she wants him to have, which would be closer to her. Um, so th she does whatever she can to make sure that uh, John and Ted uh, still remain, still remain friends, but they're not, you know, living together. They're not causing trouble. Um, so she's trying to almost push his boundaries and trying to make him do things he's uncomfortable with so that she can be more with John than John being with Ted. Um, so throughout the film, John and Ted have to find this balance and also Ted runs into a conflict which involves a kidnapping plot, um, which I don't want to get into because it might ruin the film for those who haven't seen it yet. Um, but believe me when I say that the kidnapping plot actually, strangely enough, does not interrupt the experience of this film. Uh, I was kind of worried about that going into this film because I did hear about it briefly somewhere. Um, but like I said, I'm about to get to the positives and negatives of this film, and uh, I will tell you exactly how I feel about the film. So first and foremost, guys, the positive of this film, uh, Seth MacFarlane's humor is absolutely brilliant in this. It definitely has a Family Guy feeling to it. And um, if you love his stuff from American Dad and Family Guy and Cleveland Show, you're going to really love this because his sense of humor is just as good in this one as it is in his other stuff. Um, I thought the premise of this film was great. It didn't feel forced. 
I felt like I was watching something relaxed and meant to be there, and there was a reason why every scene happened the way it did in this film. It was just a great overall premise. Um, the kidnapping subplot, actually, like I said, it didn't really ruin the film. It actually came a, a part of the film in a way. They, they built it up enough where it made it, made it work in the story. Um, I also thought the notable cameos in this was very clever. Uh, we see a lot of the Family Guy cast, like Alex Bornstein, who played Lois, uh, Patrick Warburton, who played Joe, Mila Kunis, obviously, who was Lori, um, who, who was the voice of Meg. And um, so there's a lot of people you'll recognize from the Family Guy voice cast if you know what they look like in real life. Uh, Ryan Reynolds has a cameo in this. Fla the guy who plays Flash Gordon in the actual show, Flash Gordon, is in this too. Um, so just a lot of fun, notable cameos you'll see throughout the film. Uh, the overall Ted character was fun to watch. I really enjoyed Seth MacFarlane's portrayal of this character. Uh, just a really fun character to watch. I really liked how it was life according to this teddy bear with a raunchy sense of humor. He just he just mastered the part as this Ted character. Um, the, it looked like the cast had a lot of fun with this film, and I'm really glad about that because... This film was meant to be fun. I mean, I had fun. The audience I was with had fun. We were all laughing on the scenes that were meant to be funny. And it just looked like the cast had fun with this. And you know what? I think Seth MacFarlane accomplished that. He was able to make a really fun movie for both the audience and the people working on this movie. Also, Patrick Stewart from X-Men and Star Trek and Page Master was in this film, too. You don't physically see him, but he's the narrator of this film. And he really has a Seth MacFarlane-ish narration uh, pattern throughout the film. Like, he would talk about something that's actually connected to the story, and before his narration ends, he would get off topic. Like, he would start talking about, like, a certain gun series of toys or something like that, or he would uh, start talking, he would go on a rant about, you know, how Brandon Roth's Superman was not as good as, you know, the older Superman films and stuff like that. Uh, it was just really funny to see Patrick Stewart's narration of this film, too. Um, as far as the negatives of this film go, you guys, there really aren't a lot of them because I enjoyed this film so much. Um, one thing I really didn't care for is that every time you see either John or Ted or a character played by John McHale, who's Laurie's boss, or, or even Laurie for that matter, it seemed like a very unrealistic workplace discussions and talk. Um... You know, I, I understand, you know, Seth MacFarlane wanted to make an R-rated film because he could do things with that that he couldn't do on TV. Uh, and, you know, even with that being said, I think it would have been a more realistic approach on the workplace if he made these characters speak in a more workplace realistic tone. Because uh, when, they're the, they're, when they're on their job in this movie, they, they talk the same way that they are off the job, and that's very unrealistic to me. Um, and it, it feels unrealistic throughout the film, so I wish they improved upon that. Um, also near the end of the film, there's a scene near the end that really feels like something you'd see on a YouTube video. It has like this whole PowerPoint feeling to it. And I, I really wish they could have sparked that up and really made it feel more professional. The jokes they used were funny for them, but it had a very YouTube-ish feeling to it. And I hope I almost wish because they had so much money go into this project that they really found a way to cleverly give us that joke in a more professional manner. Um and also there were some scenes throughout this film that had um, an occasional no-consequence situation involved. Um, like there's a scene where a kid gets punched in the face by an adult, and, you know, that would be assault in re real life. And you know what I mean? There, there's a lot of those kind of situations in here where these characters do these really awful things to someone else or to someone's property, and they, do, they never really feel punished for them the way they would in real life. And even though this is a comedy, and, and I'm sure Seth MacFarlane didn't think about those kind of things when writing the story, you know, I, I think to give the film a more realistic tone, because it had a very realistic tone in other aspects, like outside the workplace stuff, and like I said, outside the scenes that had these no-consequence situations, it had a very real-time feel to it. I really wish those scenes had some type of consequence to the scenes that real feel out of place and everything. But overall, guys, I give Ted a 9 out of 10. I had a blast with this film. I would even put it up there with Avengers. It's probably my second favorite film of the summer so far. Um, even though when Dark Knight Rises come out, that'll probably be my second one, so I'll probably top this one eventually. Um, I just had a lot of fun with this. For those who like Seth MacFarlane and his humor, you're going to really have a lot of fun with this film. 
because I, I know for sure I did. Um, so I give Ted a 9 out of 10, you guys. It's a very fun film. If, if you love Seth MacFarlane, you're going to have a lot of fun with this movie.